your face though. Hi guys. I need you guys to start joining in for my important message. Yes, number 11, number 46. Oh wow. Everyone's been waiting for me. Hi guys. Um, I know everyone's here waiting for the exciting announcement and I'm so ready to tell you guys. I just need you to tell me how many people you want me to have before I can actually start. I think we'll go 300 uh, people and then I'll start giving my announcement. Um, hi Svathe, great seeing you too on campus. Um, okay, so I am here to make this like the um announcement that i promised you guys yesterday about my campaign so i know a lot of people have been worried asking what i'm taking to miss universe and asking what i'm going i'm going to advocate for and um i'm just here to tell you guys that i will oh verna says i should wait for one million people before i can make this announcement <laughs> Um, yeah, basically I'm here to tell you guys that I am picking up my advocacy where I left it off on the stage of the, on the 9th of August. I know I gave you guys a hint yesterday saying, um, I would come here and, uh, you know, ask men to stand with women. And now I'm just here to tell you what that is about. On the 9th of August, I stood there when Anela asked me the question about gender-based violence and, you know, why South African women should keep smiling. And I said, we have no reason to keep smiling because, you know, women are dying every day, we're being abused every day, and mostly nobody is doing anything about it. And so I have decided to do something about it. And I don't want to be the only person doing something about it. I want you guys to join me on my journey of doing something about gender-based violence. I am extremely excited to announce that I am advocating for the United Nations, not just the United Nations, but the United Nations women. And for me, this is especially um, important because I've always wanted to align myself um, with what the United Nations stand for. And so um, we're able to come together and to give you this campaign called He For She. Um, so basically what this campaign is about, I'm here to collect on my word I know I said I need South African men to stand with me and today is finally the day where I ask you guys to stand with me. And here's what's most precious about it is that it's not even just about men. As a South African woman as well, you can help um, us push this message and push this advocacy. We're always asked as women, what can we do to protect ourselves? You know, we're always asked to dress differently, to act better so that we're not attacked um, uh, by perpetrators and so I want to change that message. I want to change that um, narrative of asking women to start protecting themselves and I want to ask us as a nation to come together and to spread a message of love. I want to challenge you guys, especially South African men, to join in the advocacy. What I want you to do is I need you to please visit www. Um, he for she dot org um, and pledge there. What you will do is you will pledge your message of love to South African women. And um, this is such a beautiful message because instead of attacking each other, we're asking each other to come together in love and to send love messages to South African women. I will use this, this love messages um, on my national costume for Miss Universe. So this is um, a first for South Africa. We have never taken our advocacy um, on our national costume to Miss Universe. So whatever message you send to me, I will, will be put in ribbons. And um, what happens in those ribbons is that um, we will take the message that you send and we put them on the, on the national costume. And that's what I will be wearing for my national costume. So in essence, what this means is I will be wearing messages of love uh, by South African men on the stage. And what's underneath those messages of love is people, I will put in messages of what I've been told um, by people, um, negative comments people have said about me, you know, about my beauty, negative comments people have said about women and not just myself, about how we are not enough. And then I will cover those up with the love messages from South African men. So this is going to be an exciting campaign and I cannot wait for you guys to join in. <laughs> J. Mart says he for she, yes, 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 he for she, you know, that's exactly what it means, he for she, he is standing for the woman, he is standing with the women, and yes, I'm absolutely excited, and I can see that you guys are excited about it too, and um, yeah, I think what makes it more special is that it's not just about me, it's, it's about the nation, I'm taking your guys' messages 
to the universe messages of love it's time that we stop fighting it's time that we stop pointing fingers and work together in um ending this fight against gender-based violence and i am so excited thank you thank you andre um thank you ntabi um i'm hoping to see you guys pledging but later on i will put on a post on how exactly you can pledge um, also another important thing to note is when you pledge on the website you have an option of sharing on Facebook and on Twitter and I want you guys to please um, choose one of those platforms to share or you can do both um, in the caption I want you guys to please send messages of love to South African women what you love about them um, you know for example you could tell them you know South African women you are beautiful South African women you are smart tell me what it is that you love about South African women or even women in general it doesn't have to be a South African thing what do you love about women what makes them special to you that is the caption that I need you guys to put on so you go into the website you pledge you share it on Facebook and you share it on Twitter and you put on um, your caption of what you love about South African women and then you hashtag um, Miss S.A. Love Letter and then hashtag he for she. So it's two hashtags. Hashtag Miss South Africa, love, Miss S.A. Love Letter and hashtag he for she. Like I said, I will drop you the details on the post and you guys will know exactly um, how to do it. And I'm so excited to kick it off. Um, I've been holding back for a while to talk about it and I know people have been asking, when is your advocacy coming? And yes, guys, today is the day. It's finally launching. I, I don't know how many pledges I want, but if we could take it to how many what is the population in South Africa? I mean, maybe I might be stretching it if I said I need a million pledges. But you know what, guys? I need a million pledges and I want to see if you guys can do it. If you can help us push this narrative all the way to the universe. And I am I'm extremely excited and I can see that you guys are especially excited about it too. Mojumelo um, says you are really making me feel proud to be South African. I'm actually so proud to be South African too. And I can't wait to show the whole world what we're made of, that we're not just a country that fights, but we're a country that loves each other. We are a rainbow nation and we are going to unite in a way that people have never seen before. I want us to keep at this wave of love. That's what we're calling it. It's the wave of love. So we're taking the wave of love to Miss Universe because we we're not fighting anymore. We are done fighting as South African. We are coming together as men. We are coming together as women to pledge our love for South African women. And yeah, thank you so much, guys, for joining my live. And um, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to pledge. I want you to challenge your fathers. I want you to challenge your husbands. I want you to challenge your partners. I want you to challenge your friends to join into the movement to show that we're not fighting anymore, that we love each other and that we support women and that we understand that the country is absolutely nothing without women. We need to work together in order to protect them and to make sure that they feel loved. And that is my message of advocacy. I want to start it with love because everything with kindness and love, really, we can start moving into a more positive direction. And thank you guys um, for joining in. I love, so it's 339 people. I want you to know that I will um, share this post and it will stay here on my stories and it, it will be here for people who weren't able to watch. So if you have a friend who wanted to watch, you can let them know that they will catch it here. It's going to be here for you know, for a very, very long time. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions, please, I'm here to answer. I'm waiting in on the questions. EP link. Um, okay, so you guys, you guys are going to have to, I'm going to try and put on the link maybe on Facebook as well for the website and on Twitter. But it really is um, www.heforshe.org. Um, so that's where you find the pledge. You pledge, you share it on Facebook, and you put in your caption of your message that you, of love that you want to send to South African women. And um, also it costs nothing. It's for free. You don't have to pay any money. All you have to do is to just go on the website and pledge and show your love to South African women. It will take you two seconds. Um, I see someone asked what's the color of my national costume. I cannot give that away, but what I can tell you is that it will reflect that I'm a South African, I'm a proud South African Kosa woman. Um, what are you most looking forward to? 
um, you know, I'm such a story person. I believe people's stories tell so much about who they are and where they come from. I'm looking forward to hearing the stories of, you know, all the wonderful queens that I'm about to meet. I just want to know what they're about, what their advocacies are, what they're passionate about. And I want to learn about their countries even more. So I think that's what I'm looking forward to. What are the ways that we can teach people that men and women are part of the society? You know, this is why I have this advocacy. I have a thing of believing that we start grooming young boys and kids when, when they're still very young. Teach them these messages of love. Teach them at a very young age that women and young men are, are equals. Teach them to look as, at women as people who are, you know, at their level. And these young boys will soon grow up to be young men. And these young girls will soon grow up to be young women. And so it's something that we need to be teaching in families and in households to groom um, young people to grow up to be, you know, better individuals. How can women get involved? Um, you know, women can get involved too by pledging. You can pledge. So like I said, women, you can... Um, uh, speak to your husbands, you know, to your friends, to your cousins, and you can also even do it yourself because believe it or not, gender-based violence is not just a woman thing. You know, there are women who are being abused as well by their own perpetrators. There are men who are being abused by their own perpetrators. So it's not just a man-woman thing. It is a societal thing, which is why we all need to come together and get involved. So it's not just a male thing. It's a woman thing as well, and you can get involved by pledging too. Your brows are giving me life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Neda has been doing amazing things with his brows. Absolutely amazing. Um, sure, so many questions coming in. I'm going to try to get through all of them. But through just two more questions and then I'll be out of here, guys. I'm so sorry. I want to stay the whole day, but I can't. Um... You are beautiful inside out. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Baba Alwa. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you have any more questions about the campaign, please, please do. I'm just taking on two more. If not, then I'm just going to remind you again for the last time. It's www.heforshe.org. You get in there, you pledge. It's literally going to take you two seconds. Just after you pledge, you will get an option to share. You share it either on Twitter or Facebook. After you're done sharing, it will ask you to put in a caption. Instead of just posting it, please put on your caption, sending what you love the most about women and what you appreciate about South African women. And then you need to put on the hashtag he for she and the hashtag Miss SA Love Letter. So yeah, thank you so, so much, guys. I am so excited about this. I cannot wait to see the messages that you're going to be sending to South African women. Most importantly, I cannot wait to wear them on a global stage to show people that when South Africans come together, amazing things happen. Thank you so much, Apelele, and thank you everyone um, who came to watch the live. And I hope to see your pledges there. Bye.